We began our journey with great hope, but there was more on board than we knew. Ooh. A destiny. This looks awesome. Unseen. I can't wait to see this, but mostly, I can't wait to see it right here. Welcome to Eagles Theater in Wabash, Indiana, an incredible, historic, two-screen movie theater, performing arts venue, community center, and media school. Our story begins in 2010 when this down-on-its-luck movie house was, well, not ready for a close-up. Some feared the worst. Could anyone save this languishing beauty? Enter our heroes. Um, not that kind of hero. Answering the call was the Honeywell Foundation with a new vision for a $16 million renovation that would restore the theater to its former glory. But moving forward meant going back in time. The year is 1905, when the Fraternal Order of the Eagles built the original structure. Back then, the first floor was a large auditorium for vaudeville shows that was later converted to a movie theater. The top floor held a grand ballroom with offices and meeting rooms on the floors in between. Fast forward to 2010 and the building is acquired by the Honeywell Foundation. But it's a single screen shell of its former self. The theater still showed movies, though the AC didn't work very well, which made every film feel like Lawrence of Arabia. I cannot abide this heat. Then in the wintertime, it was so cold that many folks tried to eat their popcorn with these. The upper floors were largely vacant, and in the ballroom, it took steel columns to prop up the ceiling. But at this crucial moment, the Honeywell Foundation had a vision. See? It's the town of Wabash! Everybody plays a part. The Honeywell Foundation pulled together all the local leaders in Wabash to create a whole new community center for the performing arts, movies, and events. They also fixed the AC and the heat but it takes a village to save a theater. Wabash's designation as a stellar community in 2014 garnered $3.2 million funded through the Indiana Office of Community and Rural Affairs, the city of Wabash, and Wabash Marketplace. Nearly $1 million was granted from the Regional Cities Initiative, with the remainder of the $16 million coming from foundations, businesses, and individuals, some of whom chose to remain anonymous. Restoration began in earnest in 2017 with the help of Indianapolis firm KRM Architecture. First came the creation of an expanded lobby and a restored mosaic of a previously covered up Eagles insignia that's now in front of the new elevator. The press 10 ceiling was also restored. Carpets and wall treatments were updated throughout to reflect the theater's originals. The main screen was made retractable to accommodate live performances. And check this out. In the basement are practice rooms for making musical stars. And there's a second screen for a more intimate movie experience. The theater's second floor now houses the Media Arts Program, where area high school students can gain hands-on experience in audio and video production for careers in media and, well, movie making. Marker. The renovated third floor holds meeting rooms and classrooms. And the fourth floor? Well... No one had danced on these floors since 1940. But that all changed. After installing a new support beam via crane through the roof, the ballroom is a picture of its former grandeur including original ceiling artwork recreated by hand. Today, the Eagles Theater sees almost daily use as a venue for movies, classes, weddings, concerts, youth theater programming, and private events. Only one thing is lacking in the story of the restoration of this grand centerpiece of the Wabash community, the Cook Cup, but that's coming soon. Congratulations to the Honeywell Foundation, winner of the 2022 Cook Cup Award for its Hollywood-worthy restoration of the Eagles Theater building in Wabash, Indiana. 